you're shooting a sequence photo, make sure you get all the action you need in one shot. I'm using a fisheye lens because I want to get as much scenery in the background as possible. There are more complex sequence shots you can take by panning the camera, but for this photo I use a tripod to reduce the motion. Here I am checking that I have the skiers landing and the takeoff in one shot. Download all your photos and open them in your preferred photo preview software. Open the folder with all your photos and flick through to check the images. Next, select all the images you want to use in your sequence and label them. Open your selected pictures in your raw converter. Develop your photos and make your color corrections and editing. Make sure all your photos look the same by synchronizing the settings. Now open all your files into Photoshop layers. When the computer has finished loading, you can see all the pictures as layers. Click through to see each photo. If you compare the layers, you can see that the photo is moving a little bit, so align the layers. Select all the layers and go to edit and out align layers. Use the outer function. This works very well in 90% of the cases. If you want, you can also select the geometric distortion box which removes some of the fisheye effects or the vignette removal box. For this photo, these options are not needed. If you click through each picture, you see that the background isn't moving anymore. Just the people on the lift which are not important for the final image. You can also see that we lost a bit of the picture on the edges, but it's simple just to crop it out. Add a black layer mask to the first layer by clicking Alt and add layer mask. You can now paint back the layer mask to reveal the skier on the layer above. You need to do this for every single layer, but make sure you paint the layer mask and not the actual layer. Make sure you watch the background because if you touch anything that's moving, you have to mask it. Keep painting back for every layer, it's quite easy when you know how to do it. When you're done, just flatten the picture into one layer and there you have it. I'm Johan Stolberg, thanks for watching.